Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another edition of the Forex Weekly Forecast. My name is Alexander Nikitin and I appreciate you guys being here. If it's the first time you are watching this series, what I'm trying to do is to bring you some good ideas of what's going to happen in the next week. Some things that I'm looking at. And also, there's something that maybe uh, you will learn about trading as well. So you walk away with a little bit of knowledge. What we're going to talk about today is uh, the identification of structure of uh, advanced patterns. No matter what set of series you are using, uh, you need to understand the structure of advanced pattern. Originally, uh, they were designed as a swing trading technique. By the word swing, I don't mean one hour or four hour time frames. I mean the movement from a valley to a peak or vice versa on a chart on whatever time frame, be it five minute or daily minute. Let me draw it on my chart uh, so you have a kind of visual representation. Swing looks like this. This is a peak, this is a valley, this is a peak, this is a valley. So uh, in case of harmonic patterns, we take one swing, only one swing, and we are looking for a complex correction that we call ABCD correction. Uh, I will draw a pattern here. It is X to A to B to C to D correction. Don't pay attention to these ratios. Uh, the lesson for today is this XA identification. As I said before, uh, XA should be only one swing. It is very important. It should be only one swing. And that ABCD movement should be a correction to that swing. Of course, it is not OK if you draw patterns like this. X to A to B to C and D. Because XA, your XA contains two swings. It is not the pattern, uh, unless you are trading cipher patterns. Cipher patterns are a bit different. Uh, they have two swings, but godless bats and other patterns, uh, whatever you have in your portfolio, uh, sorry, in your trading plan, uh, you should uh, have only one technique. If you have lots of swings in your XA leg, um, then you maybe need to switch to a higher time frame where uh, these uh, many swings are looking like one swing. Uh, for example, like that. If you have your pattern like this, these are the swings. This is the correction. Uh, X, A, B, C, D. Let me take that. Boom, boom, boom. You have some pattern like that. This pattern is not correct. Oh, what is it? C point, I need C point. Where is my C point? Here. This pattern is not correct, no matter what uh, ratios uh, you have in B and C and D points. Because your XA is not correct. You uh, destroyed the structure of the pattern. The structure of the pattern is one swing and correction to that swing. Uh, let me delete that and we'll uh, uh, go into charts. Uh, I will show you this in real time. Okay, 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 okay. Done, done, done. One more. Be patient. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Okay, uh, what we have today is pound dollar. Pound dollar, the chart of today. Okay, uh, let's have it here. You see it? Swing to the downside. Let's take some pattern. X to A. It is a corrective structure to that pattern. Godly pattern, wonderful winner. Because A, B, C, D movement is the correction. It takes place within XA range. Okay, next is here. And you see what happens here. A, B, C, D movement is a correction to XA. Let us take another pattern. X, A, B, C, D. Okay, what we have next? We have next another swing to the downside. You see, we have the close below the previous uh, low. This is my strategy. Uh, I will not explain it uh, right now because it takes lots of time. Uh, then we have X, A, B, C, D movement again, something like this, and it works. So it is a very frequent uh, pattern here, pattern formation here that uh, 
that is called advanced pattern formation. You should find the swing first. Okay, this swing is okay. And then you are looking at A, B, C, D type correction. A, B, C, D is a complex correction. Complex, uh, when I say complex, I don't mean uh, it is something that is very difficult. I mean that it is uh, not straight. It is moving uh, that zigzag manner, in zigzag, A, B, C, D. It, it should give us A, B, C, D. So first you identify XA, then A, B, C, D. Then you identify XA, then A, B, C, D. One, two, three, four, five winners in a row, six winner. Very, very good uh, win ratio uh, in this harmonic patterns if you identify them correct. Okay, here is the XA leg. It doesn't give us any gutlies or something, any advanced patterns. Here it is the uh, corrective swing to the upside and then downside swing again. And what we have right now, we have another pattern completed. So what I am expecting, I am expecting the same as I expected uh, on previous uh, gut list that I drawn here. I expecting the price go to the downside and continue the downtrend as it did here, here, here. And uh, as you know, history repeats itself. It is uh, one of the most important truths uh, in um, technical analysis. Because if history does not repeat itself, you cannot use technical analysis to make money. <laughs> of course, history repeats itself. And we are expecting uh, the, uh, this pattern to work. Okay, what I'm looking here, let me place some targets, potential targets uh, of mine. I'll do magnet mode, sorry. And I draw some fibs. Uh, my stop loss will be somewhere uh, here. My entry is 786. As you see, the pattern is already completed and I entered that uh, trade. And my target, uh, I will not be very greedy. I'll take the first target very close. So my target is 618. Although, although you see that this pattern tends usually to uh, continue the trend. It usually goes beyond a point. I am taking targets a bit earlier. I'm not very greedy. And uh, taking targets a bit earlier, you are having very, very good accuracy of the pattern more, more than uh, 60 percent your pattern will be accurate 60 percent uh, just uh, imagine that you have your risk being that small and you have your reward being that big and that you are rewarded 60 percent of the time okay this is the lesson for today uh hope you enjoyed it uh please subscribe uh give me likes thumbs ups or whatever and uh, i hope we'll meet next week until then, uh, good luck and uh, goodbye. See you later.